What's going on guys, it is Caleb and today we are going to continue our HTML and CSS course. Previously we just finished doing our social networking profile. So let's go ahead and get started by going to codeacademy.com and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe for new and future content. So let's go ahead and do our HTML basics 3. Today we're going to be doing the learning about tables. So that's going to be real fun. Tables are really interesting and really resourceful. So let's go ahead and get started, reset our code. And introduction. Our HTML journey has been progressing very nicely. We've covered how to set up a skeleton of an HTML file, headings, paragraphs, images and links, font colors, sizes, and types, background colors, aligning text, bolding, and italicizing to font. In this course, we'll cover some important structural aspects of HTML, which are tables, divs, and spans. To get warmed up, make the heading have the font family Arial. So let's go up to our heading one. And once again, guys, like before and previous, we're going to add an inline style, font dash family, and then it wants it to be Arial. And A does have to be capitalized. So A R I A L, and there we go. That's Arial. And then add an image. So right underneath it, we'll just go ahead and add an image as R C. I don't have a source at the moment, but give me one second and I'll grab this right here and go to my profile and copy image URL. There we go. Now we have a source for our image. So there's our image. Then add a second image, which is clickable, and then link to a site. Okay, so. Remember guys, to do this, we have to first make an anchor tag, add an href attribute, and let's just say we're going to go to youtube.com. Um, well, I mean, we could put www, that would have worked. And then after that, in between our anchor tags right here, we need to add an image tag. And I'm just going to use the same exact image because I don't feel like going out and grabbing another source. And then make sure that we uh, close that one. So this one over here is clickable. This one's not. And that one is Arial. So font fam L E. Yep, Arial. So everything looks good. Oh, that's why that wasn't working. There we go. Okay. So make sure you spell style right. Hopefully. Okay, everything works. Let's try to click on this. Goes to YouTube. Great. This is Arial. That doesn't click. Everything looks good. The same submit. Awesome, got the green light. So let's reset our code. So what are tables? Tables are very useful. We use them to store tabular data, so it's easy to read. And when you want to present information neatly in a table with rows and columns, you guessed it. The table tag is what you need. There are many tags associated with tables, but it all starts with the table tag. So let's add that first. So the instructions are, add an opening and closing set of table tags to the body of this HTML document. Go to the result view. You'll notice that nothing's visible was added. That's because our table is not populated yet. We'll learn how to do that soon. So let's just go in our body and create our new table tag that we just learned about, which that looks great. And I'm just going to hit space or the enter so we get some space between them. So that's all we have to do, save and submit. Awesome way to go, guys. And let's reset. And rows of information. A table is just a bunch of information arranged in rows and columns. We use the TR, or table row tag, to create a table row. We'll learn how to create columns shortly, and everything will start to come together. You don't really create columns in tables. Instead, you tell each row how many cells you to have, and that determines the number of columns. We'll get into the details of table cells in a minute. In the meantime, we've added a set of TR, or table row tags, to the table on line 9, creating a table row. Add two, um, two more rows to the table on line 11 and 12. So, if we look over here, line 9, this is our new tag right here. This is our table row. And that's what the TR stands for, obviously. So, it just wants us to add two more table rows. And at the moment, we can't see anything in our table row because there's nothing there in between our uh, tags. But... That, we're just going to leave it like that. And let's go ahead and on line 11, add a new table row. And then also on line 12, let's add another table row. So that's all we have to do for this one. Let's save and submit. Awesome way to go, guys. We're doing great. And let's reset our code. Okay, a single column. Look at the HTML now. Can you tell that there's still three rows? We've added a little more white space to make it easier to deal with table columns and table data. 
We've added a single TD or table data cell to the first row, essentially creating a single column. If you view the result tab now, you'll see that we've drawn a border around it. It's not that impressive, but don't worry. We're about to add more tables data cells. We're starting to add a lot of HTML elements now. Make sure you indent your tags as you nest them so you don't get confused. So the instructions are, in the second row, add a table data, which is a TD tag, in cell and type 2 between the tags. So it's pretty much whenever um that, that might be a little confusing for you guys um cuz I'm saying I'm saying ta uh, table data and I'm saying ch uh, cells interchangeably. <coughs> Excuse me. And <coughs> pretty much the same thing. So we already know for us to have a table, we have to have the table tag. And right here, they're just adding the attribute border for one pixel, so we get the border around our actual table, which this outline border right here is our actual table. Then our table row is also going to have our border. So whenever we want to add cells to our table rows, because we have to have cells, which this is a cell, this little box, that is a cell. And the more populated tables will have more cells, obviously, because they have more table rows, rows and more table datas. So let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> in the second one, <coughs> we need to add a new table data tag. And what this is essentially doing is creating a cell. So we look right here, we see that we have another border, because if we didn't have this border, we wouldn't be able to see what we were actually doing. It would just be blank. So thankfully, we have these borders so we can see what we're doing. So once we have our new cell down here, we need to add the um, the word two to it, and now you'll see that we have one cell, and then we have another cell where the first cell says one in it, and the second cell says two. That was a little confusing right there. I just realized that. But anyways, in the third row, add another cell with three in between the tags. So we need to add another table cell by adding our table data tags, and then we'll say three in this one. So as you see, we're still in the same column, but now we have three rows. Because this is a row, this is a row, and this is a row, and this is one column going up and down. Rows are horizontal, and columns are vertical. Okay, so just to recap if anybody didn't know what that was. So go to the results view. You can see that we have one column with three rows. And each row contains exactly one cell. And like I said, guys, these are cells, and this is going to be a row. Just imagine that this whole row extends way, well, Extends, it just keeps going all the way out here. That's a row, this is a row, and then this is going to be a row. And then everything up and down is going to be a column. Okay? So, this is all you have to do. As long as it looks like this, one, two, three, and they're all in the same column, and you have three rows, you should be able to submit and pass this one. So, cool, way to go. And let's reset our code. So, adding a second column. It may not have seemed like much, but you just created a single column table in a last exercise. Nice work. Now take a look at what we have in, on our page. Notice in the first table row, we now have two table data cells. So if we look down here in our actual table, which is down right here, all this uh, highlighted, if we look at our first table row, we'll see now we have two data cells, which this is going to create a column, and this is going to create a column. So if you want to add additional columns into your table rows, you just need to make additional table data tags. Because each cell is, or each table data tag is going to make a new cell for a column. So adding a second table data cell has the effect of adding a second table column. Although, if you go to the results view, it may look funny because only the first two rows have two cells. Let's fix that. So add the table data tag to the second table row tag with the value 1897, like this. So pretty much, all we have to do is go down here to our second table row, which is right here, and we can see that because if we look right here, our second row says Dracula. And also, if we look in our HTML, that's our first table row, and this is our second table row. So to add another column, we just need to add a new table data, and this will make a new table cell for um, 1897. So once we put that in there, now we see 1897. Now, all we have to do is add another table data tag to our third table row tag with the value of 1935. So come underneath the bridge of Frankenstein, and let's just hit enter again and hit table data. And as you can see, we already have a new cell populated right here, but there's nothing in it. So what we have to do now is just type 1935, and bam! 
That looks awesome. So now we have a table with two columns and three rows. Sweet. We now have a basic table. Go on to the next section to find out how to add a header and a title to our table. So let's save and submit our code. An awesome work, guys. You just learned how to create a pretty basic and simple table. So if you like this video, make sure to like it, thumbs it up. Also, don't forget to fit, uh, subscribe and leave comments down below. I don't know why I always say favorite. It's not like this is Twitter or Facebook or anything, but you guys get the gist of it. All right, guys, until next time, hopefully this helped you guys out. And I've been Caleb. You guys all have a wonderful day. All right, bye.